Hi everyone, this is part 2 of my previous video about my Galactic Empire. So if you remember from my last video, I was busy saving this planet from eco-disaster. And now that I've saved it, I want to build a third colony because it is a blue sp spice producing planet. And I've only got one of them, which is a problem. I'll probably have to make another one later on. But because I only have one, I want to try and bring up the production as best as I can so that I can have a lot of blue spice from the one planet. Now, as you can see here, I'm trying to like build an island because this is basically a giant water world and I'm, there's basically no way for me, there's no land for me to build another um, settlement on. But as you can see here, I'm trying to do it, but I can't. And eventually I just find like a perfect spot which just lets me build, like just, just lets me build it. Just see me here, it goes blue for a second, I'm like, oh, I can do it there. So I like look for it a bit, and there you go. So I build it there. So that was good. Now I don't have to worry about that ever again, because you can only have three, per, three settlements per colonized planet anyway. At least I think you can only have three. So I'll trade here, I'll, I don't know what I'm trying to trade for, but, ah, oh, spy storage, yeah. So I have the spice storage, which lets me um, store even more spice, so I can get even more at one time. Alright, so yeah, I'm just building my regular thing that I usually do: four factories, one entertainment center, and the rest houses. That gives me a plus 132 spice per hour production, and well, no unhappiness, but no happiness either. And then, so there you go. So what I've been noticing is, ever since attacking the Grong's home worlds, I've been getting frequent attacks, so it's quite a problem now, and it is very annoying, because they're pretty strong. Anyway, I found a way to defeat them without losing lots of bases. I've started, I've noticed they only attack a few worlds, they, they mainly attack this place, McEwen, but they also attack Zap toss or whatever it's called that blue spice planet and also a lot of my green producing planets so what I've done is I've just started building up apart from just having the settlements I also have start building um, defense turrets all around my cities not in this video I will show you that later on and I also start putting uber turrets on all the planets and an uber turret is basically if you've seen Oblivion, it's basically just a flying drone, which fucks stuff up when it comes nearby. So it's pretty good. It's just like an automated defense turret that flies around killing everything. So that's pretty good. And then I also, yeah, like I said, then I have myself with anti, oh no, I have anti-matter missiles, which I use, which are like crazy, they're like mini nukes, and they just kill everything within a few meters of it. Oh, within like, yeah, a kilometer of where the missile hits. Which is a problem, because once they're actually at the city, and they're like, busy blowing up the city, um, and I use the missile, it usually blows up the city as well. So I can't really use it when they're in close proximity to the city. Then I have to use my laser, which is also, which is decent, but it's it's a lot slower killing them. Killing them. Anyway, so, I think I'm going to show you some spice trade now. So as you can see, uh, this place is not fully finished, as if, yeah, it's not finished yet, I have to build another settlement here and finish production on my second city. So I just had to quickly do the, this is me doing um, terraforming, like I've got it to T3 stage and now I just have to fix it in by putting the animals down and the plants to create the food web. As you can see in the bottom left, I still need a carnivore, which I don't think I have, which is annoying. So I have to go away again and go find one, which is annoying because like you don't. I'm, I'm sure there's an easy there's an easy way of doing it. I'm just too lazy, so you could probably like write down which ones you have, which ones you need, stuff like that. But I can't be bothered doing that, so I just go around finding an animal that's not in my inventory. Luckily, hopefully that is like an animal that isn't on the planet yet. So that's what I do. I think I found like an omnivore on this planet. I don't know how it is an omnivore. If you see it now, you'll be like, "The fuck! It's got two legs and a big green head. It does not look like it can kill anything. It's like the cutest thing ever." But apparently, that will destroy you and just like, eat your family. 
if, it, if he gets a chance to. Or maybe it's just like a little retarded human who doesn't have a brain yet. I don't know. But you'll see in a second, it's, it's pretty retarded. Yeah, this planet was pretty... has been like suffering, suffering a lot of attacks recently. That's why there's lots of like city... like destroyed cities around the place. Yeah, there you go. Look at that shit. What the fuck is that? I don't even know. So yeah, fly back to the other planet, finish off the terraforming, and then I'm going to build my third city. And yeah, but I think if I remember right, I get attacked by the Gronks halfway through this like building process. So I have to like leave and then come back and finish it off later, which is annoying. So let me just put down my omnivore thing quick. There you go. And that should do it. So now the place is completely terraformed. Now I can build a third city. So I got to find a good spot for it. I don't even know if it has anything to do with the spice, like if there's any spice nearby or, or does that actually make a difference, I don't know. <coughs> oh god. So yeah, I don't know if it actually makes a difference, because, I don't know. I just try and find a spot where it has the most spice in that other circle. Might make a ma might, oh shit, it might make a difference, it might not, I don't know, but I do it. Maybe you guys can tell me if you know. Put in a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you tell me if it actually makes a difference or not. And yeah, that would be great. So let me just finish this off quick. I hope I don't get attacked by the Gronks. I can't remember right. If I do, it's probably gonna like wipe out a few cities of mine. It's gonna be really annoying. And I have to start from scratch. Okay, so this planet's pretty much done, as you can see. So now I have this solar system gives me 60 red, oh, green dust pretty quickly. So, I can, if there's someone selling green dust, or buying green dust for a spice for a lot of money, I'll just go to all my, I have four green spice producing planets, so that gives me 120 green spice, and with a plus 132 spice per minute, like, oh, per, per hour, I can pretty much make, like, I'm making, by the time I fly around, I can fly around again and get another, like, 20 spice on top of that. So I can get 140 spice in, a, in like a space of a minute, and when someone's buying spice for like 40,000, I'll fly around, get like 120, and then fly back and sell it all for a couple mil, which I think I'll do later on in this video, you'll see it come up now. I think I sell it at Zaptos or whatever it's called, one of the two, or one, one of my planets, I can't remember now which one exactly. But it limits you to 99 spice at a time, which is annoying, because, like, you should be able to carry more. If you have more inventory space, you should be able to carry multiple spice at one time. And I think I realize now, like, this is before I know that you can carry that 99 limit, so I'm trying to figure out why I can't carry more spice. And I just keep trying to trade it in, but I can't. So I realize it's got a 99 limit. And then I think, luckily, I find someone buying it for a lot of money. And I go to their planet. I'll go to that planet and sell all my green spice and then do another run. So I think I end up with about 11 million from this, from this like spice run. Usually I go to all my planets and get spice from everywhere. But in this instance, I'm almost finishing up the video. So I just quickly go and get all the green spice. I think I like, I, I'm collecting spice, but you can see here the green spice is worth. 40,000 at a time, so I just made 4 million there. So now I'll f I'm going to fly around and go collect all the green spice that I haven't collected yet because now I have none in my inventory. So I get 30 here, and then I might get. I fly back there, sell that for 30, 40,000. Uh, first, I go here. I go to all my green spice producing planets and get as much green spice as I can before going back to that planet and selling it again for another 40,000. So I actually think I end up with about 13 million after this. I don't know how much I get here. Yeah, I get about another 21 here. So, as you can see here, I just sold 99 and now I've got another 54 to sell. So that's going to give me quite a lot of money. Anyway, we're getting to the end of the video now. So basically, in a future video, I'll show you... I want to start selling bit more money by colonizing a lot more planets. Specifically, like, pink and blue dust planets. Thanks for watching.